ang isang mayor o governor pag he or she acts in behalf of the city or province ay kailangan niya ng specific authority from the sangguni ang bayan, sangguni ang panlunsod ng kanyang local government unit. This is specifically provided by Republic Act 7160 ng uh, also known as the Local Government Code. No? And uh, before a mayor or a governor can sign a contract in behalf of the city or province, he should obtain an authorization from the Sangunian by law or ordinance. So, kailangan maipasa yung authority ng isang local government unit leader para mag-act for and in behalf of yung kanyang city or province. And of course, kasama ito yung pag-bind no, ng obligation and the other duties ay eh, kailangan ito ng local government unit. This is also provided by Title 3, Chapter 3, Article 1, Section 455B of Republic Act 7160. Ang ating mga punong uh, bayan uh, leaders ay required to act and this was uh, emphasized in the case of Kisumbing versus Garcia at saka City Council of Cebu versus Quison. Ang sabi dito, the source of authority granted to the city mayor to enter into the transaction is to prevent disbursement of funds under contracts questioned or impugned uh, uh, that have been entered into by the local government mayor or governor without lawful authority and in violation of law. There are exceptions, however, uh, uh, on Supreme Court decisions. Uh, ito, when in an emergency case, for example, eh, kailangan ng maka-enter into a contract yung mayor or governor, then by virtue of such emergency calamity, hindi na niya kailangan maikonvin ang kanyang konseho, then he can enter into contracts. But after, after uh, the emergency or the calamity, kailangan i-confirm pa rin ng sanggunian, bayan, ng sanggunian, uh, panlunsod yung mga acts of the mayor. So, ano ang liabilities here? This will give rise not only to administrative liabilities but also criminal liabilities for LGU leaders who do not follow the proper procedure.